vulnerable there. You're in one piece. And you've brought a friend. Why? Is this? Artyom, this kid shouldn't be out there without a gas mask. What the fuck? Ah, so it is, so it is. A child of the surface. A dark one. No! Don't shoot him, Miller. Then get it away from me. No mask. I should have known. This one's green, but that one's yellow. Tell him I'm not a danger. Seems he is adapting well. Yes, that will keep him alive. May I talk to him, Artyom? Colonel Miller, put your fear aside. This child is the future. You need only take its hand. My hands are full enough. I doubt this creature can help us. But you too, you go on without me, before I give in to better judgment and rid the Earth of it. Is this? Oh, oh, I, I can understand his thoughts, and I can hear yours, Artyom. Can you hear anyone's thought just by touching them? With Artyom, it's different. We can talk from afar. He was adopted long ago. Do you see, Artyom? The Dark Ones changed you so that they could understand us. What's behind that door? Did you hear? They call you. I can hear. Open this. Wait. That looks like one of the sealed doors in D6. Yes, at the exhibition. It has a strong lock, too. We've yet to break it. What's there? The people? They're inside. Sleeping. Incredible. Look at this. They're hibernating. He is not alone. I must wake them up. It's time for them to leave. We are all going there now. We'll open the door if we can. There's... death. Nearby. All around. But I must wake them, or be alone forever. 
Now listen. Help us, and we'll help you. I will. What needs to be done? I must wake them. We'll have to improvise. Hey! Wake, wake up, up, you bastards! bastards. Colonel, can you open the gate where the gardens line ends at D6? Do you have the code? I have all the codes for D6, but I can't promise a thing. You'll have to. He will help us in police if you do. Take him along then, and brief me on the way. If I'm convinced that he'll help us, I'll open your door. Follow me. He is not alone. He's not the last. I understand his excitement and his wish to immediately meet the others, to free them and wake them up. But he has agreed to wait a bit longer. First he's going to try and help us. If we make it to the conference, the Dark One will be able to open up the thoughts of Moskvin, or Corbut himself. Perhaps make them stop this madness. This is our last chance. Artyom, we already knew of Oktobriska from Khan. And we did confront Moskvin on this. Entrance. Yet he didn't even try to disprove it. He told them by sheer luck yes, their chemical defense squad was exercising nearby. And thus, despite some sacrifice, they were able to nip this darkening epidemic in its door. Otherwise, it would have engulfed the whole of it. What can you say for that? Even I would have done the same. But Colonel, it was Lasnitsky. Their agent who stole a virus container from D6 right before the outbreak. So what? There is not a single living witness besides Arthur. Who'd believe the order? We have the D6 now. What if it was us who released the virus? But the Reds start to break through into Hans's territory. We could make Moskvi. What can we do? We are not an army. Engage We've less than a hundred fighters. Yes, sir. yes, Moskvin did gear up for war, but after Polis suggested that we share the wealth inside D6, he might actually agree to peace. Oh, we must do everything to have that agreement signed. Moskvin? What difference does he make? He's just a puppet in Corbett's hands. And while he's talking, Corbett's forces are encircling you. You'll seal this peace agreement with your blood! Oh, great. What? Came You've got there. a better idea? You brought this ape here! Open air what now? Yes, sir. We're done with this. Let's go to the council hall. Follow me. Permission to report, Colonel. Denied. Urgent dispatch to D6 Security Force Commander. Go to highest alert. Instruct Korneyev to proceed with... Well, he knows what to do. Please let this work out. I therefore have ordered Operation El Dorado shut down. Hail right! And to summarize the official proceedings, I call on the leader of the Red Line, Comrade Boski. Comrade, Comrade. And, and I vote, I vote yes, 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 dear friends, dear friends. We also, we also consider the motion, motion in this tribute to the Get ready, Arthur. Stay close to the little one. Hurrah, comrades! Let there be peace in the name of our children! You are a liar! Carl, are you out of your mind? I know what I'm doing. Just believe in me. Just this one time. Who are you? Guards! Take this man away! Ranger, stand down! Artyom, little one, it's your turn! Thank <laughs> you.
I overheard one conversation between your brother and his advisor about the threat you pose and ways to eliminate it. What the hell? Threat? We're brothers! He thinks you feel bypassed, cheated. He fears you will overthrow him. <laughs> He's totally mad. Totally. I'm going to give him an earful. Words alone will not avert his assassination plans. No, you must strike first. <laughs> Maxim, brother, I'm so pleased that we finally made up. It was a fight over nothing. Let's have a drink. Sure, brother. What? It is unanimous. Maxim Leonidovich Moskvin has been elected the new Secretary General of the country. Congratulations, Comrade Master. Silent treatment. What are you looking at? It's those honest eyes for. It was your fault. Who wanted me dead? Corbett sold you out. And now, he's got me by the balls. All because of you! I'm sorry? I'm so sorry, brother. There's no forgiveness for me. But even so... Platform. Damn them. I'm not surrendering D6. Follow me! 